What's up, Digi Destins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today we have a match: Biela Star Security Control versus none other than Gobblemon Bonds of Friendship, aka with Ancient Guru Mon Package. So Ancient Bonds is what we call it. So guys, let's see who could win this matchup. It can be very close depending on who has what on board state. So guys, without further ado, let's dive right in and see how it goes. One has in store for us, shall we? So, gonna get my opening hand. I am going second. He flips up Demi Marimon into Sonic Bird Mon. Sonic Bird Mon. And then slaps down a five cost Vile Mon to get himself an early blocker. It'll help up in this matchup, but so we're gonna hatch. We get a Demi. Vmon to evolve into the Gobamon from the trial deck that allows us to gain extra power that could help out especially when we run into certain securities we get the Davis we're gonna reveal I'm gonna grab I don't think grabbing Lobamon is the best play here I think Gobamon bonds of friendship is the better play just to set us up we can get the mat in security or into our hand that would be fantastic bottom deck so I'm gonna go Strabimon right here, right now. Yeah, Strabimon's the better play of the two, which I do like a lot more. I reveal, I get two really good targets out of that. To be honest with you, I grab the Lobomon that allows you to evolve on top of the Tamer and I get a mat. I now choke him out for two. So that really does help out. Now let's see what he can do. He's gonna move up Sonic Birdmon I think that's what it's called, Sonic Birdmon. Then he's gonna digivolve his Vilemon into Kikori Promote. He's gonna swing in with the Sonic. He's gonna discard the Happy Fun Time Bullet. We get a mat out of this deal, which is really nice. So now our Gobblemon, we promote up, can just do some massive damage. He's gonna security check us again. There's the Gobblemon that I really want. I want the one that restants itself. Could help out in the end game but that could have cleared out pretty much his full board and dealt three damage if it was lucky enough but let's see what happens here hmm. bonds of friendship is definitely going to be coming in importance here he's debating on slamming down mimi which isn't a bad play in all honesty just to get the options if i use a hammer spark or he uses any option now his options cost one less to use He's got to play at four cost. So he slams down Mimi, brings himself to zero. So now what is he going to do here? He's got not much going on for himself. And he's going to pass the turn. I like passes. Draw. I get double hammer spark. I promote the Demi Vmon and Gobblemon. Go to four. Draw myself a card. We get the Lobomon to help us warp into the thing we need later. So our hand is above eight at the moment, which is really good. I'm like, let, let's go into bonds. Let's remove some targets off this board. Go to one. We're going to flip. Ooh, a bonds of friendship to the drop. Flip. We got a low amount to the drop. So let's see what we can do here. So my bonds of friendship will die, sadly. So swing. We're going to put the Genkamon promote to the bottom of the deck. And then we'll put the Sonic Bird if we survive to the bottom of the deck. So security check, Trump Sword. Oof. Don't like to see that in the first security. So that hurt ever so slightly. And I'm like, Sonic Bird's not that big. I could definitely take it out with the Strabi. So I'm like, that might be the play we have to go with. I'm holding out on the Hammer Spark because if I use it too early, I think would his Mimi would trigger he wants to he would trigger his Mimi and then I would be falling behind so he gets rid of the Demi Mara with the Sonic Bird Mon which is a very powerful tech choice like it, it seems like I have to bait him out here either I try to choke him out did you evolve up I'm like hmm I want to save the warp I really do I don't want to lose out on anything in this situation I'm like so nervous to lose too much so i did evolve into the lobomon i should have probably did evolved into core cordramon 
be honest with you, at least getting a one card evolve out of this and choking him out one would have been fine. So, patches Demi Mera. He's got a few options in his drop. So, if Bellstar comes out, we're going to have some trouble keeping up with it because he could definitely just slam down a bunch of those. Ooh, Bellstar comes down for 12. He's got three, so that's nine. Brings me to eight. Ooh. And then he's going to use his option again, which I find a little ridiculous. Does he activate the Mimi? Yes, he does. So that brings me to seven. Oof. I don't like that. I don't like this. SOS. Ooh, we get a third Hammer Spark. I could just go all out here. Uh, did you vault my Demi Mare? I just flipped up into Strabi. We get the option to be able to make two tamers i slap him down core Dramon to bring myself to one to draw me one draw me two get a memory booster i'm like i don't want to give him too much here but i could probably hang on the hammer sparks but i think the best play in this situation is to slam down a hammer spark and then memory choke him for one again no I, i'm gonna go double hammer spark here so I can get at least two plays out of this deal. So we're going to go memory booster here. Reveal one, two, three, four. And we're going to grab the ancient Garumon. We're going to flip this all to the bottom. Flip bottom deck. There we go. So now we at least got some memory boosting going on here. That might help us out. So... I don't have lethal, but I can definitely get close enough if I can just swing in a bunch of times. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I really am. I'm gonna slam down Strabimon. I think that's the best play. Yeah, I was gonna burn another hammer spark, but I realized that a hammer spark might be needed next for turn. So I'm gonna give him his three. Strabi comes down. Reveal one, two, three. No targets, and that hurts a lot. So we're gonna bottom deck the whole kid and caboodle. He draws. He stands up the Mimi. We got a memory booster and a hammer spark. We could definitely see a possible win. Gabumon goes bye bye. So. I go to three next turn regardless. I go to five and six. I just need one more memory, to be honest with you. I think what I did was misplay. If I could just get, had save one more hammer spark, I think I would have probably been in a better spot where I could double Lobo on top of my tamers. And no matter what, I have game. So it's tough to see what's going to go on here. So if he can give me four, I'll be a happy camper. Because then I have seven to play with, and that gives me guaranteed game. Ooh, that Omnimon. So Wart comes in. Raw. Skill. Mill one. Mill two. Mill three. He's going to grab that blocker and probably Sonic Birdmon out of that deal. So Zawart's on board, and this is going to hurt. Vilemon's out, and Sonic Birdmon is out. This is going to hurt. Following turn, I lose if I don't win this turn. So let, let's be honest. I'm not surprised at all. So I draw. I get the Gobblemon, which if this was a Gobblemon, I would be even more happier. I would have got to the four I needed. So we're going to pop to the memory booster to five. I'm going to Digivolve for two to three to one. I'm going to draw for evolution first. Digivolve draw kind of wish i had this goblin underneath that would have made me a solid 15 and then i get a couple swings in the so swing in first security check so i got lethal on board if i can get my ancient guru on the stay on board is the word i want to use so if i can keep him on board i have this game if i can't then we're in trouble boys 
really bad trouble. Ooh, Gazergergergerg is been flipped. I'm gonna swing in with the Ancient Garumon, which we're hoping to get something out of this deal. We stand Omnimon Zawart. Oof. So I don't have Lethal on board anymore. That was I should have swung in with the Cordramon, bet on something smaller, but. I wanted to get everybody standing just in case an option does show up. Swing. That blocker takes out my little guy. Then we're going to swing yet again into Strawby. Swing for security. Strawby dies. I can warp up. I got one hammer spark. I needed a second hammer spark at this point to guarantee game state. But he also had Mimi up, so it didn't really matter. I needed the mat to really go off i need the gobblemon in raising to really just win this i think draw so we go to zero we're gonna swing with the lobo security check millennium on it takes out that and if only i had a way of rushing at this point i would have had the game state i just don't have it i got a hammer spark i got a lobo i, I have one tamer it's a gg boys so that is game one in a nutshell Hopefully you enjoyed game one. Let's start this game two off right, boys and girls. Let's see what he can do and what I can do, right? Right. So let's see what some spiciness can happen. So I'm going first. I'm going to flip up Demi Vimon into Gabumon. That gives us extra power. That could help us out. We got a Lobomon and an Ancient Garurumon ready to go. I slam down Kordramon. Just to get me some draw advantage here just to set me up I, I just have to be cautious on what my opponent does flips up demi maramon into the impmon that lets him mill cards to help him speed up removal plays the deputy mon aka you know really nice now he's got a trump sword he can get a flying bu bullet is huge here he's got two options he can pick from he's gonna get the flying bullet so I got to remember that he has that or else I'm kind of screwed. So Gordramon's on board. I can take out a few things, but let's see what he's going to do in response here. Hmm. Like, ooh, he slams down Vilemon, bringing me to four. That's a really good play for us. I draw, I get Madoka Badamon. So, Madoki Badamon. I'm like, mm, do I promote up here? Try to get in a couple swings. I'm going to hammer Spark now. Go to five. I'm going to just... I think drawing another card really does help out in the end game. So, draw one. Draw one. Two. So, I, I want to gain some advantage here. I feel like if I can just gain some advantage, we're pretty solid. I don't know what his game plans are, but if we lose these Gorgermons, it's fine. Ooh, he's going to go past me to five. Gundramon's out, boys. Draw. He's going to reveal top one Gundramon. Ooh, no. <laughs> he hit the one card I didn't need him hitting. If it was any of the other ones, we would have been fine. But, yep. Our board states gets wiped. His Demi Mara goes off, drawing him a card. He discards a card, and then his Ipmon will go off. Milling him three. Hmm. One. Oof. Two. Oof. Three. That that hurts. Two cards still are great viable targets. So. Constant reusing of options is nutty, in my opinion. So let's see, draw for turn. Got plenty of memory to play with, which is really exciting to see. So I'm gonna promote this up. Did you evolve? Draw. Get a Davis, nice. Then did you evolve into Ancient Grumon for one? Draw me a card. Get another one to set up our boy. So we got we're at a whopping 15. So the only thing that can kill me is an Omnimon Zawart. I'm going to swing. Security. Are you kidding me? Ah, you got to be kidding me. He 
had it. First security check, my Omnimon dies. My ancient Garumon dies. At least let me take out two security checks. That would have been really nice. I'm like debating on, here we go. Here comes a Lobo. I'm like, do we go memory booster here? Nah, I'm gonna go Davis. Reveal one, two, three, four. We're gonna grab the Gabumon that lets me draw a card just so that if our board gets wiped, at least we have an option to get back into this game. Bottom deck, boys. Let's see what happens. Yep. I mentioned he gets Omnimon every single time when I try to go in for lethal. That's ridiculous. I don't like it. <laughs> Flips up Demi Mera. Let's see. Digivolves into Songbird Mon. He could definitely start trying to tear my security apart here, which would probably be the better play. He swings in with that Gun Gundramon, I'm guessing, right? Right. I don't. He's he's got really nothing to worry about. Even if he goes into Zawar, he's pretty decent. So, I'm like, I'm in a bad spot if I don't get an out here. You definitely control my board state, but then I'm just going to OTK the daylights out of him. There's nothing else I can do. I'm just hoping to OTK him. Because that Gundramon is just too much of a threat. So, let, let, let's see what he does here. Mm. He's debating. He's debating. Let's go for that swing. Let's go. Something big. And we get Ancient Garumon taking out his Gundramon, getting the revenge on the kill. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. He plays Impmon down, which lets him gain a discard a card. I go to three because of Davis says so. He gets the Bell Star back to hand, which I don't want him to have, but hey, he can have what he wants. Ooh, we get a mat. So I'm gonna hatch Demi Mera into the Gabumon Bonds of Friendship. Draw. So I gotta set this up right. So Lobomon swings in for security check. Ooh, Shurgurgurgurgurgurg, which isn't bad. I can set myself up pretty nicely here. So let's go Memory Booster here so we can get up to where we need to. Reveal one, two, three. Or ooh, we get at least the bonds of friendship. That that's major play there. That's what we wanted. So we're gonna bottom deck this real quick. We don't need it. Bottom deck it. And then I think the best play here is get that mat out. Because if we don't have the mat, we're kind of screwed. So we'll go to four, and we should have six next turn, regardless of situation. And that's huge for us. We can get a hammer spark going too. That would be really nice for us too. So we, we just need to get to the big boy numbers. So he's gonna swing with Sonic Bird, discarding one card, go to four. I would love to play the Betamon, but I know that the better play was playing the mat and the memory booster just to set me up. Ooh, Trump Sword, he's at six here. So the security could be very light at the moment. He's discarding a lot of options, which is in our favor, the best thing we can do. So we get a Impmon swinging in. Come on, Hammer Spark. Hammer Spark! Let's go. Now he's at two. So no matter what, if he Digivolves, he plays his Bell Star right now, that'll bring us to four. And that's huge for us because now that prevents him from going. He goes, plays his Mimi. So is he going to go Bell Star here? Give me six. Oh, no. One, one. Nope, that's only three, if if anything. And then if he rests the Mimi, he, he, he can try to try to choke me out. That's only going to be a three. Going to use the option now. So it's either Scherzergerg or it's going to be the happy fun time bullet or the other happy bullet. 
because there ain't no way it's going to be Trump Sword. So. Evolve up and flying bullet it is. Gets litter my Lobo. So this is the play I wanted to do last game. And we, we need to get another good old boy. So we'll go to four. Draw me a card. Let's get a Lobo. Nope, we got a Gabumon. That's not bad. We just need another Lobo. So we're going to go Ancient Bonds of Friendship. Get rid of the last two securities. Ooh, a memory booster. That would have been nice. And then Gabumon will go to one. Gonna possibly pop the memory booster here. So pop it. So go to three. Swing securities check effect. Bring that to the bottom. Restand by Gabumon's effect first. If I remember, no, it's Bonds of Friendship, Gabumon's first, then Gabumon, because that's how that works. So swing, restand. Ooh, we survive yet again. Swing again. Let's see. And as a wart defeat comes in clutch for him. If that was reversed, we would have lost that hard. Yep. I I'm not big enough, sadly. But that's okay. We get game state, boys. That's how you do it. We slam down that Lobo. Swing in for game. Good game two. We got it. So let's go to game three. This is all for the peanuts. Let's see what happens. So he's going to go give me priority first. My hand is Poopy Dukes. I'm not joking. It is Poopy Dukes. I can't express how much I don't like this. I'm going to slam down Davis. We're going to go to four. I'm going to reveal the top three. Hopefully we get something good. We get the Strabi Strabi and Memory Booster. Strabi comes to hand. That is clutch for us. I'm going to bottom the rest. So we got one Lobomon to help us get game. He flips up Demi Maria, goes into Toporimon. Toporimon. Uh, it's the Warthog thing. And then he's going to slam down the promote. Probably be best for him to do that. Game come on. Come promote comes out. So he could definitely rush us for game here. He's got three. Oof. We're going to draw. Ooh, Gabumon. That, that could help out in the long game. We're going to Digivolve into Gabumon. Draw me a card. We get a Gabumon to draw. So we're going to slam down Gabumon to draw us a card. Get another Davis, and then we're gonna go Strabimon right here. Reveal top three. One, two. Ooh, we get a Tamer, and we get the Lobo. So that's huge for us. So that that's a warp Digimon play next turn, which could mean we take out a bunch of security, and that's fine by me. So he doesn't have much going on for him. We can rush him hard here. So he can swing in, draw. Tapiermon dies by the Ancient Bonds of Friendship. Removes, well, not Ancient Bonds of by Gabumon Bonds of Friendship. He's got to discard a card. He drew for the Tapir. Discards Gundramon. So as long as we can get to that security stack without having to worry about resource loss, we're solid. Swings in. Something big, something big. Lobomon. That doesn't kill the Gankamon. Promote, sadly. But hey, we got two Digimon out on board. He can kill off one. I don't think he's got a board wipe in hand, and that would be a problem if he's got the board wipe in hand. If not, I got plays for days, actually, the follow-up turn. Ooh, he's playing down Mimi to bring himself to one. So, that's not bad. He could definitely give us a lot of memory here if he decides to go killing. But, let's see what he thinks here. He's going to go Flying Bullet. That'll bring me to six. And then he's like... Get rid of the Gobblemon or the Strabi. Strabi goes bye-bye. It doesn't matter which one actually died in this situation. I got a five. That's huge. This is huge. I'm going to Digivolve into Lobo. Go down to three. Draw me a card. We get another Bonds of Friendship. Let's go. And then we're going to go Ancient Garumon. Draw me a card. We get a Hammer Spark. Nice. So we get two attacks going into this. One, restand. Ooh. And then two, 
No restand. Let's hope for the best here. Don't die. Ooh, flying bullet. That kills it. Oof. But now we brought him down to three, which is huge for us. I'm debating on slamming down Matt and then memory booster would be huge in this situation. Just so that I'm like debating on playing the Lobo mom, but I'm like, I need to keep this hidden just so that he doesn't just board wipe it. No effect. So let's see hammer spark in hand. We got memory booster. So I think playing the memory booster and then follow up with a mat might be our best bet. One, two, three. Ooh, we get four. I'm going to grab the Gabumon that restands itself so that if we decide we need to go into it again, which I really doubt we'll have a turn if we do that. Now I'm going to slam down Matt, give him three. So no board. Most of his options are shut off at this point. So flip that mean Mera evolve into Ipmon. He's got the promote on board. I can go up to four, six, six is huge for us. Six is kind of huge. I, I need to have the hammer spark live. So I'm hoping, Ooh, hammer spark. Let's go one. Mimi no activate. He could have activated Mimi there just to give himself two. So he doesn't pass too much to me, but Hey, I'm not the player. He's the player. I I'm hoping for the best here. So let's hope for the best, boys and girls. So let's see. Gankamon promotes on board. Arg. He's, he's debating. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's gonna hurt. And he slams down Guzzimon. And that's huge for us. That, that, that could shut down our whole game plan. Ooh, we get another Lobo. Let's go. So we're going to promote. Yeah, Gabu. Draw me a card from the mat. So I'm going to go bonds. I'm going to bottom deck. Hope for the best here. We get two attacks out of this deal. One. Bye bye. Two. Lobo. Bye bye. Go to one. Swing. Bottom deck. The Guzzy. So now we at least have the memory booster to give us three. Pop. The Songbird. Swing. Put promote at the bottom of the deck. Or not. I, I spaced on its effect. It's not just once per turn. So memory booster. Pop. We're going to go to three. I'm like, if he remembers to use Mimi, I'm done for. If he doesn't use Mimi, I win. Go to one Lobo swing for game. Impmon. And it's not my responsibility to remember my opponent can do things like that. So I promote the mat. I did I play Lobo and game. So if he had a way of if he remembered to use Mimi, I was done for. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the game. It was a lot of fun recording this. This was a blast to play. Remember, like, comment, subscribe on the video. It means a lot to me. It helps support this channel. We are close to that 2,000 subscribers goal. We are not that far away. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember, let me know.